Okay. Yo, what is good, everybody? It is the Godfather of VR, the ageless one of the man, Lincoln Clay, coming back at you with a little short bootleg video. Um, not a high production value video, but I don't care. It's all about getting the message across. And, um, and I think this was the fastest way to do it in this uh, video. I'm going to try to keep it under 15 minutes so it doesn't take long to upload to YouTube. Uh, this is a video about the uh, Onward uh, update as far as being able to roll back to uh, version 1.7 to bring everybody up to speed real quick. Onward is a VR first person shooter military game. Uh, which came out in October, August of 2016 on Steam uh, and it came out a year later at the Oculus Store and through the years they've made several improvements and updates to the game and uh, just this past Thursday, July 30th the game launched on the Oculus Quest to an overwhelmingly uh, positive reception and uh, there was also an update to version 1.8 to allow crossplay, and um, which vastly improved the community, but it came at a price. Uh, the PC version of the game, the graphics were dr drastically downgraded to the point where there was outrage throughout the PC community, and I was one of them. And uh, Downpour Interactive, who's the developer of this game, they responded quickly. I apologize for the confusion and it gave gamers the option to roll back to version 1.7 on PC in order to get their graphics back, which I thought that was, uh, at the time I felt like that was a good thing to do. But it turns out that comes at a price. Simply put, uh, this morning I rolled back to 1.7 on the Oculus Store and um, when I fired the game up, the graphics did come back, but it came at the expense of uh, users because uh, when I fired the game up, there was only four servers available and all of them were co-op. Were co so just to make sure that my suspicions were confirmed, I jumped on the Oculus Quest and there were over 200 servers available on the Oculus Quest. So that kind of confirmed my suspicions that if you choose to roll back to 1.7 on PC, you will probably only be able to play with those who have rolled back to 1.7 also, uh, which in turn probably means that crossplay is uh, will not work. So you will be basically stuck with playing with people who only roll back to 1.7, uh, which is only a handful of people. So... Um, so I guess if you want to play with a, a huge user base, you'll have to stay with 1.8. But if the graphics mean more to you and you uh, prefer single player, then 1.7 is uh, probably the better option for you. Me, I like uh, multiplayer. So after seeing how small the servers were, uh, I opted to go back to 1.8 on PC. And I will make a little bit of a note that I think uh, when the game launched, on July 30th and after the 1.8 update I think there was a small patch afterwards that did restore some of the graphics on PC but it is a notice it's still a noticeable downgrade and there's still pop-ins but I guess the, they restored enough of the graphics on 1.8 that I was able to tolerate it so it is what it is we'll just have to deal with it until they bring the uh, the graphics back up to par but I do want to warn the, warn the PC community that I think even when they bring the PC graphics back up to par uh, there's going to be some things that I think are not going to come back uh, like uh, for instance if you look at this split version the trees on the street on the PC version I don't think those are going to come back um, unless they can put them in the Oculus Quest because I've actually seen people in the PC version of this game try to use those trees for cover. And um, if they put those trees back in the PC version, but they're not the Quest version, it would give the PC version probably a little bit of an advantage. So um, at this point, moving forward, I think they're going to continue to improve the graphics of the P PC version. But if they can't put it in the Quest, then you probably won't see it in the PC version. That is my guess. So uh, we'll see how we'll have to see how that plays out. 
um, as far as uh, Downpour Interactive goes, I think um, I think they should have been a little more transparent and forewarned everybody that this was coming and gave them a forewarning that uh, the graphics on the PC version is going to be downgraded, but they will build them back up. Uh, there would have been outrage from the PC community, but I don't think it would have been as bad as not telling them. And I mean, um, they basically got a dumpster fire on their hand right now with the PC community. So, um, or the other option would have been not to roll this out until it was ready. You know, we have contractors over on PC and uh, the Quest version is in beta and crossplay and is, is enabled and there doesn't seem to be any compromises on the PC side. So um, they could have went that route, but I think um, I'm being brutally honest, I think uh, Downpour Interactive was worried about being the first uh, military first person shooter to officially launch on the Quest store because if Pavlov or contractors would have gotten there first, it might have been an uphill climb for them once they got there. So um, I think they uh, basically made some concessions in order to get this game on the Oculus Quest first. So um, I get it. I know how this stuff goes. You know, I know they uh, want to maximize, you know, maximize sales. So it, it is what it is. It, it's still my favorite game. Um so much to the point where it's hard for me to go back to Pavlov for contractors. They're still great games. I just love uh, Onward that much more. So uh, with that being said, you know, I do believe that the graphics are going to come back. Uh, I just think, you know, I just wish we would have had a little more transparency out of Downpour Interactive. I'll still continue to play this game and just uh, have to deal with it until the graphics come back up to par. So uh, with that being said, just uh, letting everybody know that if you opt for uh, version 1.7, that you will probably have not that many people uh, to play the game with. So if uh, if multiplayer and playing with a huge user base is uh, your priority, then you will want to stick with version 1.8 on PC. So uh, with that being said, I definitely want to thank everybody for uh, taking a few minutes to watch this video. And uh, just want to let everybody know to like, comment, share. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, do you feel like um, what Downpour Interactive did was understandable or do you think it was underhanded? Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and boogie on out of here and actually go jump back into some Onward. I love the game that much. Uh, with that being said, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Wakanda forever. Deuces.